all right guys welcome back to the channel wes here today we have some news to talk about regarding the upcoming game star wars jedi survivor coming soon to a galaxy far far away is the sequel to star wars jedi fallen order star wars jedi survivor it's currently in development by respawn entertainment and just like the last game is set to be jam-packed with fantastic star wars gameplay we've all came to love about the first game featuring new graphic enhancements and upgrades that should allow this game to excel from both the gameplay side of things to how gorgeous this game will look on the xbox series consoles and playstation 5. along with that we have some new features and theories for the sequel that we're going to dive into as well as the latest news leaks and rumors and just generally everything you need to know about the upcoming star wars jedi survivor so definitely stick around until the end of the video because you guys are not going to want to miss out on all of this new information real quick guys if you want a chance to win a playstation 5 and a copy of jedi survivor god of war ragnarok or a game of your choice to enter all you have to do is subscribe to my channel comment your twitter handle follow me on twitter and tweet me proof that you are subscribed by tagging my twitter handle at west nemo and using the hashtag nemo ps5 the winner will be announced at 80,000 subscribers star wars jedi survivor is going to be a continuation of the last game story where it will be five years after the end of jedi fallen order where if you haven't played the last game brief spoiler alert cal Kestis destroyed any hope of rebuilding the jedi order by destroying the holocron that stored data on the whereabouts of the remaining force sensitive children in the galaxy he of course did this so the empire could never obtain that information and hunt down the remaining force sensitive children and likely attempt to turn them into inquisitors or just kill them jedi survivor is set to have a darker tone throughout the game as cal is going to have to do whatever it takes to survive since he is one of the last remaining jedi there's going to be very few places for cal to go to and most of them will likely be more unsavory parts of the galaxy as he will continue to be hunted down by the empire all while hopefully collecting even more ponchos According to game director Stig Osmussen, this game is all about survival. That's why it's called Jedi Survivor, he said. And he went into further detail, stating, They are in dark times, and Cal and the crew are going to have to do whatever it takes to stay alive. That might mean they're going to have to make connections with people that, in other times, might be considered unsavory. Some of that is portrayed in the trailer, and again, I don't want to give away anything, but there's definitely a sense of, to which he said, I don't want to spoil anything and basically stop talking. It's hard to speculate what Stig was going to say with that last statement, but I'm I'm guessing it was going to be along the lines of there will be quite a bit of struggle and try not to be discovered by the empire similar to how obi-wan went into hiding i'd imagine the gameplay will reflect that the game is set to launch sometime in 2023 and neither respawn or lucasfilm games have given us a more specific release date for survivor however we can speculate it will follow the same trajectory as its predecessor fallen order of course launched in november of 2019 after the star wars celebration event without any specific date for the launch as of right now it's safe to assume that the game will launch in a similar fashion however we do have some new details that point to jedi survivor launching even earlier than that as according to a recent leak it could be dropping as early as march of 2023 but more on that in just a few minutes at this current time respawn has yet to show the public any gameplay footage on jedi survivor the only thing we have seen is cinematic teasers but nothing on the gameplay however the studio has discussed its approach on combat and progression the studio will be taking full advantage of the current generation consoles the ps5 and the series x to further push how far this game can go with new mechanics as confirmed by the game director on how respawn is leveraging advanced technology of the ps5 and the series x to create more dynamic jedi combat and then continuing on with jedi survivor will expand on the dynamic combat of the series in new and innovative ways in order to survive cal must learn new skills and grow his connection with the force so i'm expecting even more force abilities and combat features like dual wielding lightsabers to force jumps and slams with this game being about survival and cal being more versed in the ways of the force having the ability to do jedi mind tricks to persuade our enemies would be a nice touch i don't want cal to be at a point where he is overpowered in this game but i also think expanding on the current skill tree and choosing which powers and abilities to focus on to build the ultimate cal kestis based on our preferences would be a really nice touch overall just more rpg elements would be great to see in jedi survivor as in the first game we were really learning to be a jedi and they set the foundation really well but I'd love to see them expand on that foundation and allow us to progress even further and master our skills to eventually be a master Jedi. With Jedi Survivor not having any gameplay showcased as of yet, the potential is pretty much endless when it comes to creating the gameplay for this new game, especially by capitalizing on what the current gen can do. I'm expecting massive improvements in the graphics department, bigger and more dynamic worlds, more unique bosses, bigger bosses, and I truly believe the team at Respawn is doing just that. Stigos Musen was speaking with the official 
official Star Wars website when he teased that Respawn was already thinking about the Fallen Order sequel back when the first game was being developed, where they decided to leave certain elements such as new combat stances on the editing floor for the inevitable sequel. There are also reports of Respawn doing the Metroidvania design route like the last game for its world and levels as the studio is expanding them and making them more vibrant than they've been in the past. The gameplay and level design is really solid for Jedi Fallen Order, but for the sequel, I really hope they hone in on that gameplay that made the game interesting, expand it a little bit more, while also not forgetting about the formula that made Jedi Fallen Order such a good game. Now, as far as the main antagonist in Jedi Survivor, despite being the entire empire that's hunting him, as of right now, we have an unnamed alien who, according to Asmussen, is an Imperial Senator who makes a dangerous deal on Coruscant. In the trailer, we see this mysterious Senator buy Cal's reforged lightsaber. Now, it's also also certain that we will be seeing inquisitors in this game but those are merely just foot soldiers being sent out by this senator the details about the senator are unknown but he is seriously a creepy character just from how he appears and from the trailer how he just sits there in the office looking at cow saber in complete darkness except for a window behind him that barely lights up the room now if you saw the teaser trailer for jedi survivor you know the biggest question that people are asking is who is it inside the back to tank that we saw back in the trailer for jedi survivor the answer is no one one really knows there's been no confirmation on who may be inside the tank and whether or not they're going to be allies of Cal Kestis or if they're going to be another main antagonist at this point we don't know however there are some theories that we're going to go over that will have you eager to find out who exactly is in the back to tank the first theory being Joris Sabayoth who was introduced in the Thrawn series and is described as an insane dark Jedi who played an important role in the Thrawn campaign Joris is a clone of the Jedi master Joris Sabayoth who served the religious Jedi order during the final decades of the Galactic Empire. Joris led the outbound flight. He was cloned by Palpatine and became the guardian of the Imperial Storehouse at Mount Tantus on Wayland. Whoever is in the back to tank is currently rumored that they are the survivor to whom the game is named after. I really hope it's Joris because if that's the case, prepare for Admiral Thrawn. The next theory for who is in the back to tank is Terran Malakos from the first game. This one is kind of weird since Terran was more of a minor character than anything and we didn't see a whole lot from him. He was presumed Zoom dead and the scars don't exactly match the character so this one is kind of iffy on being Terran however if it is it could be very interesting another theory that points to the reintroduction of a character that hasn't been canon since Disney's purchase of the IP a few years ago and that is none other than Starkiller who is most famous for being the protagonist of the Force Unleashed games and we could see them using this game as an opportunity for the character to be brought back into the fold he's one of the most famous Sith characters from the Empire era and with him loitering around in the Legends brand and not being used at all this would be the perfect opportunity to bring him back however this one is also likely not going to be the case the last theory that i've got for you guys is a bit of a stretch but there's not really a whole lot to work off of here let's take a step back and look at the name of the game being jedi survivor this may not be referencing cal Kestis himself and it could be referencing the character in the back to tank making it likely that they too are a jedi who survived order 66. in canon there are a very short list of those who survived 66 and fans are looking at quinlan voss as a potential potential candidate. Voss was last seen in the Clone Wars animated series, and we know he was rumored to have survived the Purge. Voss is known to have long, darker hair, but over a decade has passed since the end of the war and the start of Jedi Survivor, meaning that his hair could have turned gray or white as he aged. While these are just theories on who could be in the back to tank, like previously stated, nothing has been confirmed. This all has me really excited because we may have some legends of the Star Wars universe come back for this game. Now, there's also the possibility that the person in the back to tank is a nobody, that's not relevant to the story but i don't think that's the case there's a reason that they showed a person in this back to tank and that is because they are central to the plot of jedi survivor my personal hope is that it's joris sabayoth but i guess we'll have to wait and find out now for those of you who don't know cal's appearance is based on the actor cameron monahan and the reason for the almost identical appearance is possibly because of the events of survivor is set to take place in the pivotal period on the star wars timeline with its events taking place around the same time as the show andor and obi-wan kenobi's Disney Plus shows. This stems from all of the rumors going around that Cal Kestis is set to appear in Obi-Wan or a future Disney Plus show, which Ewan McGregor didn't help the rumors by citing the need for his Disney Plus show to match up with the events and lore from the video games. With the Inquisitors being featured in the shows, along with the Star Wars Jedi games, and with Obi-Wan coming into contact with current surviving Jedi during the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, a crossover of some sort is entirely plausible. With the Bad Batch new season releasing in January of 2020, 
2023. It could be that that's where we first get to see Cal Kestis appear in the Star Wars universe outside of the Jedi Fallen Order game. All of the questions we have still have a chance to be answered before the game launches, likely early next year. Theories can be proven true or completely blown out of the water next year, either during the EA Star Wars celebration in May, or according to this new information, likely earlier than that. According to a recent leak on the PlayStation Store page, we got a listing that claimed the game was gonna launch March of 2023. This also aligns with what EA has recently stated in their Q2 fiscal year earnings report. According to the report, EA has stated that a major IP will be released before March 31st, 2023. And if we take a look at every game that EA currently has in development, Star Wars Jedi Survivor seems to be the one that's most plausible for that time frame. They will obviously miss out on the Star Wars celebration in May, but with the Game Awards next month and a new PlayStation showcase rumored to be early 2023, I think it's safe to say that there will be plenty of time to hype up and market Jedi Survivor. That being said, be sure to stay tuned for more information on all things Star Wars Jedi Survivor, because I imagine we're going to get a lot more news and information as launch gets closer. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on. Don't forget to take advantage of the 80k subscriber PS5 giveaway at the start of the video. Thank you all for watching. This has been Wes, and I will talk to you guys on the next video. Thank you.